Man, I don't even know where to start this one off. <laughs> I am brand new to astrophotography and I've actually been in it since August of 2020. So at this recording time, it's been about four months uh, since I started. I'm not new to YouTube. I've been on YouTube for a few years and I have a small RC channel and I go by the handle Bad Notna. I'm a FPV freestyle drone pilot, and in case you don't know what that is, basically we fly racing drones, and in a very expressive way, fast and uh, also very far. I'm definitely one of those that started astrophotography last year during the pandemic because I wanted something to do outside that didn't have to involve being anywhere near anyone and not wearing my mask. So, uh, you know, we wear masks everywhere around here and it's just nice being outside and not having to worry about it. I think my story is pretty much the same as everyone else's. I started off with a DSLR and a camera lens on a tripod. Um, and I did try astrophotography like 10 years ago, but I didn't really have the support and I didn't really have the right equipment. My first successful deep space photo was Andromeda and it wasn't very good, but I'd never taken a picture of something like that before. And when I saw it on the screen for the first time, I was like, dude, I have to do this. I actually didn't take my first successful narrow band, like full narrow band until maybe two months later and it was like the tadpole nebula and I still need to put more time into it but I was just I remember being super excited seeing the tadpoles and I was like oh my god they're they're actually there right and I don't know you just get so excited when you're you know shooting brand new targets for the first time and just discovering new things my my second successful narrowband target was the rosette nebula and I had I just got that um, probably last month and I got eight hours on it and it was through like some horrible conditions but I didn't care I just I just wanted to capture the data and just put it all together and just see what I would get and um, I think as of right now that's probably my most epic photo that I've taken I've also been a serious photographer since 2006 so I kind of have the background as far as channel mapping and Photoshop. Um, so processing really didn't intimidate me. It was more or less trying to learn like things like, you know, what's the right refractor to buy? You know, um, what do I need if I need to track stars in, you know, 2020? Uh, how do I guide? You know, how do I work out image scale? I had to learn a lot of things before I just started taking deep space photos. And if it wasn't for YouTube channels like Nebula Photos, Astro Backyard, Helena's Astrophotography, uh, Astro Biscuit, or uh, is it is it Astro Biscuit? I don't know. It's he's hilarious. Dylan O'Donnell, Astro Stace, and also Galactic Hunter. I would be completely lost and uh, they made all these things easy for me to understand and watching them for months on end knowing what equipment that you know I really should be getting uh, depending on my budget. I made this channel because I want to document my progression through astrophotography and I think it might be a cool forum to ask advice you know I mean Whoever watches this, you know, might see me doing something weird and, you know, suggest something different, you know, or it might be, you know, a good forum down the line where I can ask questions and, uh, you know, someone can help me, you know, in the comments. And, you know, just remembering what it was like being new and, you know, trying to take pictures of deep space because you're only, you know, you're only a, you know, a newbie once. You know, I just, I remember being in the RC hobby and I, I didn't get enough footage 
or video or memories of me learning how to fly. So I'm hoping to kind of change that with this hobby. If you guys want, you can check out my RC channel. It's Bad Notna FPV on YouTube. And you can also get me on Instagram, at Bad Notna. So I guess that's it for now, and you'll be seeing me pretty soon. Peace.